Hi guys, putting here with a video for you about 0 0.5.13. Uh, I am watching my brother's dog, so if there's some barking in the background, I apologize. But as you can see, they got rid of the daily missions. Uh, they're, they're no longer up there. And instead you get these crates that you unlock through experience. When you click to that, it takes you to this lovely fancy ship. And as you can see, the uh, you can get three crates, uh, I believe, in a day. Uh, depending on uh, if you get all the experience. Now, I don't know <clears throat> uh, at this stage uh, if you can have multiple crates that aren't unlocked on this ship here. And I do believe that they were stating that the experience was uh, the total amount of experience that you get at the end of the battle. Like that very first screen. And, and that's what that is. And you can also see they are keeping track of your daily experience. And as we can see here, this is my very first game. I got 1,827 uh, total experience. Uh, wasn't running any flags. It's test server. So, you know, it's whatever. Uh, as you can see here, it's only, I only did 812 base experience. Uh, wasn't that great. And as you can see, my experience... Uh, bar there is at 1,827. Uh, I do have another ship in battle uh, just to find out what happens when it fills up, if it immediately fills up the other one. And the other thing is you can see these fancy guys on the deck. Now, I will be back when the other ship gets out of battle. Alright guys, as you can see here, my second ship got done with battle. I got managed to get enough experience to unlock one of the crates already. But like I said, I don't know if you can have multiple crates ready to unlock, which is why I'm going to hold off on opening up the first crate here until I reach the goal of having the second crate unlocked and then we will be unlocking these crates. So I will be back as soon as I get all that experience. Alright guys, I'm back and I finally got enough experience to collect two containers so we're going to do that now. And as you can see uh, they give us options on if we want more credits, more signals, more consumables, oh, excuse me, or you can try your luck to get one of those uh, epic containers which uh, could net you uh, the blooms, uh, a ship, uh, I believe premium uh, also but you know considering this is a test server we're just gonna try our luck with uh, the containers container I won't I guess you can oh I guess you do have to do each uh, container individually. You can't skip. Or no, wait, no. You can have uh, multiple containers. Uh, as you can see there, uh, it just stores them. Um, we can see what I got here was uh, some consumables, some flags, and uh, some money, uh, which is always nice. Oh, uh, one thing I did forget, uh, I, I don't remember if I do did mention this, Th these containers do reset um, every 24 hours. Um, so I'm assuming uh, they do reset at the daily reset um, for like one uh, for ship uh, bonus EXP for your first one of the day also uh, and now we're just going to look briefly at what the rewards are for the public test server 
Now, as you can see, uh, I've already done my uh, reward on main account number three, which is pretty much just play one battle and you get one flag of uh, every type. Uh, reward on main account number one mission is one day of premium. And all you gotta do is get 10,000 experience. Uh, reward on main account number two uh, is camel. Uh, not exactly sure why that one's not going up. I'm not sure if I have to complete state uh, mission one to complete uh, uh, to complete reward two. But I uh, I cannot uh, say this enough or stress it enough. You really should download the public test server, and give it a try. Uh, you can play ships that you wouldn't normally. Uh, get to because it is very easy to get out of a ship. Uh, they give you plenty of gold uh, and free experience. I've, you see, I've already spent some of my gold, but they give you 30,000 gold. They give you a half billion credits, and they start you off with 3,000 uh, free experience, which really isn't uh, much when you think about it. But when you look, like all I need is 4,000 experience to get into Bismarck and if we look at a relatively new ship I haven't done it's one experience to unlock modules and two thousands to move up it's when you get to tier 8 is where the uh, experience increases at but it's usually one or two games and you'll be there uh, the other thing is if you you do have to make a separate account for the public test server it's not very difficult. <clears throat> uh, links for that will be in the description. And the other thing is, uh, when this public test server gets done, I I would say don't uninstall it. Uh, just leave it because when the next public test server goes live, all you have to do is just update your public test server instead of having to re-download everything. I apologize for all the dog barking in the background, but there is a thunderstorm rolling through. Uh, I, which is why the lightness of this video is being made. It doesn't look like the storm's got it up, so I do apologize. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button, and have yourselves a wonderful day.